Good fastball, but it was too close and high. Ball one. Most of these Expo right-handed hitters are good fastball hitters, like the ball out over the plate. So Burt's going to be working them tight with that fastball and getting his breaking ball over. Hop fly, right field. Could be trouble. by Phil Garner, not knowing if he could possibly catch it, makes a fine two-run diving save. What a save he made. At the middle of the third, Pirates three, Expos one. Bisner's play, in my opinion, was the best play we've seen all season so far. The best fielding play. There he is, Phil Garner in the Pirate dugout. He saved two runs for Burt Blylevin and the Pirates. He's just... They're getting timely hitting, okay. and they're getting good defensive play. We saw really two outstanding defensive plays tonight. The best one of the season, I thought, was the one by Phil Garner. Not only of, not only of tonight's game, but of the entire season. Phil Garner made a sensational, brilliant sliding catch. It came in the uh, third inning at, the, at that time, at the point of the game uh, in which Garner made his catch. Montreal had runners on second and third with two outs. And with two out, those runners are running. And this looked like a sure pop fly hit by Andre Dawson in short right field. But Garner raced into short right, back to the infield, dove for the ball, went sliding on the artificial turf, caught the ball, hung onto it, obviously, and that prevented two runs from scoring for the Montreal Expos. And right now to one of the stars of the game, talking with Nellie Bryles. Well, Phil, tonight I have to feel that the, the key to this whole ball game, sure we scored uh, some extra runs, but the ones that you saved with that diving catch in right field, I thought was a turning point of the game. How was that set up, and how were you able to make that kind of a play? Well, that's one of those things, Nelly. You just run, and you're just praying all the way, and you just hope you can make the play. There's, there's no way that you can really plan a play like that. You just see the ball, and you go after it, and you hope that you can get it. At that particular moment, though, the, the thing that was in my mind was, hey, let's get Bird out of this jam. As you know, Bird's pitched well this year, and he's had some tough breaks. We haven't scored runs for him. And here we had a little lead for him today, and I wanted to, wanted to come up with a big play and kind of help him out a little bit. Was there any particular preparation, mental preparation, that goes into that type of situation, knowing that there's two out uh, with that particular hitter up that would enable you to cheat one way or the other or to anticipate one way or the other? Well, that just shows you how wrong you can be, Nelly. I was cheating up the middle. If you'll take a look at the films, I'm expecting... Uh, Dawson to hit the ball up the middle, which he does a lot of times against us. He hits the ball on the ground up the middle. Most of the times he does hit the ball in the air to the right side. So I'm cheating up the middle on him, and that's just a classic example of being out of position. Well, I saw Willie break for the ball down the right field line, and then you have a, you have a, a big guy coming out of right field, a lot of traffic in the area, and you're kind of taking your life in your hands when you get out in that area. Well, uh, in that situation, I just keep going until I hear Dave say something. And, and Dawson has good power, and Dave has to play him, shade him over to center just a little bit, and he has to play him deep because the guy can drive the ball to the, uh, to the alley. So uh, uh, that's, that's my play. I've got to make it. If I can't make it, nobody can. How about there in that, that last inning? The uh, ball went by third base.